Good morning. Uh, greetings. This is Professor Marsh and welcome to Accounting 312 in the spring semester at Newberry College, uh, Intermediate, Intermediate Accounting 2. Uh, and uh, we're going to uh, meet in the Lenora McClurg Center, uh, room 307, uh, from 8 o'clock to 940 every Monday and Wednesday morning. Uh, we're going to study uh, this book, Intermediate Accounting, uh, by Kiso, uh, Wig, Gant, and Warfield, the 18th edition. Uh, it is a, uh, a top book in its field, uh, and uh, those of you uh, who are here who have just taken ACC uh, 311, Intermediate Accounting 1, uh, with Professor McCaig. Uh, just, uh, I understand that uh, uh, under her leadership, you have already made it through Chapter 10, and we are going to start with Chapter 11, Intangible Assets, and work our way through the second half of this important textbook and this important course. Now, why is this course important? Well, Intermediate Accounting uh, is the basis of most of the FAR, the Financial Accounting and Reporting section of the CPA exam. Uh, certainly the uh, information in these topics, the uh, technical tools and uh, uh, the uh, techniques uh, and uh, the theory are important for the uh, auditing section and also uh, for the uh, BEC section. Uh, you're going to learn a lot more about uh, uh, corporations and how they operate financially and legally, especially with respect uh, to uh, dividends and distributions. Uh, the CMA and the CFA exams, uh, if you're going in that direction, uh, we're going to be going behind the curtain uh, to see how earnings per share uh, numbers are derived and other financial calculations and you'll have the background of understanding basically how the sausage is made uh, as you're analyzing financial statements uh, and other information, uh, either as a financial analyst or as a management accountant. Uh, if you're in the CFE track, if you're looking to become a certified fraud examiner, uh, we'll cover where the bodies are buried in many of the most common types of financial frauds, uh, as well as the less uh, scintillating but equally important uh, honest goofs and errors uh, made by financial executives uh, and often not caught by auditors. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, uh, all of the uh, 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 course uh, will also tell us uh, about fields of accounting uh, that need uh, well-educated students like yourselves, uh, familiar with these concepts and able to perform the accounting functions uh, and also to understand the concepts, uh, tools and techniques to avoid errors and omissions. And we'll also teach you how to ethically and properly correct those errors when they're detected. In short, this could easily be the second half of the most important course you'll take in accounting at Newberry College. I'm glad we're going to be working together on this course this semester. My syllabus is posted in Wolfden. I want to review it with you briefly now. Uh, we'll talk more about it in class on Monday at 8 a.m. in room 307 of McClure. Let me get it in front of me and perhaps you can get it uh, in front of you uh, it is posted as the syllabus in Wolfden. Uh, our book, we went through that. Uh, most of you will have the electronic version of this book and also a Wiley Plus account. Um, and you're familiar with that from your work with uh, uh, Professor McCaig uh, in the fall. Uh, I will also use Wolfden uh, and I'll let you know when to use Wiley Plus and when to use Wolfden for assignments in the prompts themselves. Uh, this semester is 13 weeks long. 
And if you look through the book, you'll see that if we start at chapter 11, uh, we're going to end at chapter 23 this semester. That's 13 weeks and 13 chapters. So we'll be going about a chapter a week. Um, and each week I will post a preliminary chapter quiz and also a chapter outline of the points that I intend to emphasize uh, and highlight in each chapter. Each week to prepare for Monday morning's class, do this. Read the chapter. Take the preliminary quiz regarding important concepts in the chapter. In fact, you can have the quiz open uh, as you read the chapter. Uh, it's not intended to uh, be tricky. It's intended to make sure that you learn the most important points in the learning objectives. Three, review the chapter with the chapter outline. You will probably need for each 50 minutes of class time and our, our you know, we have an hour uh, and 40 minutes for each class. So uh, for each 50 minutes of class time, you're going to need probably an hour and a half to two hours with these materials. Then come to class each Monday and be prepared to participate as we review the quiz, discuss the important tools and techniques in the chapter, and review the examples in the book. As we get started during the semester, we'll be more kinesthetic, we'll be more hands-on. Uh, we'll work on building the muscle memory for your learning. Uh, we'll work more on paper and on the board. Uh, we want to learn the basics to be effective. Uh, there's an important pedagogical reason for this method. Uh, you will learn how to do it. Uh, as you become familiar with it, you can skip some of the intermediary steps. Uh, and as we project, as we progress during the semester, we'll rely more on technology to make us faster and more efficient. On Tuesday night, by Tuesday night each week, uh, you'll need to submit a homework assignment. It will either be uploaded into Wolfden uh, or entered into Wiley Plus. On Wednesday classes, we will review the homework together and I will need and expect you to participate. The homework, by the way, is a free A to those of you who do it diligently and give it your best effort. I will not grade it based on complete accuracy, but I'll grade it if I see that you've shown your best work and you've done your best, but somehow go sideways uh, to get the wrong answer. Uh, if you treat it with respect, you should get full credit. Also during the semester, uh, as shown in the syllabus, we'll have two major data as an analytics assignments uh, during the semester and we'll have two midterms and one final exam. The final will be comprehensive and carry the most weight, just like the licensing exams we talked about. However, it will not include anything from Intermediate 1. My syllabus also has a section on attendance and classroom policies. Read and follow these. We'll also discuss these on Monday, January 30th at our first class at 8 a.m. Now go out and read chapter one, take the preliminary quiz by Sunday night, and I'll see you all at 8 a.m. On, mon on Monday morning in McClurg 307. Have a great weekend, and I look forward to meeting all of you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.